Start Sunday. How's it going? On coronation weekend. Um, got this one. I know that um, a couple of guys have had this already. Um, it's Tartarus, the Mackenzie Poltergeist, Dolce de Lecce Imperial Stout, fourteen point five percent. So Dolce de Lecce. Now, some people say that's just posh caramel, but when you're doing this in baking, because my mum's a bit of a baker, that's when you're making caramel, not out of water and sugar, but you're doing it with milk. So this is, I'm assuming, going to have lactose in it. Let's have a look. Yeah. Mm, I don't see any declaration of lactose in there. Which I'm assuming you have to legally do. Well, well fair enough, that surprised me. But that's how you make Dolce de Leche. If you're making your tarts and stuff. Anyway, um, so. It's Vault City and Tartarus collab, um, and I think obviously with the branding Tartarus on the front foot with this. Uh, Vault City. I've not done the one that everybody's on about at the minute, the Oda Mars Bar one. But um, ooh, I got the smell of that straight away. Ooh, it's not even bored yet. That does taste caramel. Uh, smell caramel. Don't be fooled by the Emperor glass. New in. The Ricky Prim. But ooh, it's quite a bit of fizz to that. Nice tanned head on it. Ah, definitely smells booze in, in, in that. Definitely smells booze in that. Getting the um, caramel smell. Sometimes that's quite disappointing with a lot of them when you have them. You don't get the smell of it, but you definitely get the smell of caramel on that. So, well done Tartarus. You've done that really well. Let's have a little bit of a swirl. And that did fizz up quite a lot when I poured it. Room temperature, I've had this out uh, probably about four hours or so from the fridge. Been sat around while I was doing this Sunday roast off to the site. I was a bit worried next to the air fryer. I thought it was going to be a bit hot, so I moved it. That's quite light for a fortune. Me and Dave had the uh, Abaddon in Edinburgh at the Hanging Bat and that was really easy going for 17% that again it's it's really light it's not got that heavy mouthfeel you'd normally expect from something of this percentage but to me I don't mind that because if it carries the flavours through and stuff and you're getting that off it then I'll give it a pass. That is um, carrying loads of flavour. You've definitely got chocolate in this and that. There's loads of chocolate in that. But, that caramel taste is, it's riding shotgun with it. It is really nice and strong. So, I can't fault that either. Maltiness on the back end, and you can taste that. Yeah, the malt's coming through as well when you when you when you're finishing it. It's not leaving itself too heavy on the glass when you're turning it, but it is there and it's hanging. But the carbonation is it's quite high really for something that you expect to be this strong. Very 
That is not too shabby at all. It's very good. There's something that, I don't, and I don't know how they do it with the brewing at Tartarus, but it seems to be a, it's like a running theme where on the back end, there's like a tangy bitterness that hangs there. And you don't get it with a lot of other starts that you have. You know, if you're having, a, even if you're touching anything that's like quite a high percentage, and these do, and I don't know if it's to do with, I've spoke about the guy, you know, being from New Zealand and stuff, and I don't know what his brewing process is, but it's like, there's something that hangs there in the back end when, you, when you're finishing, tasting it. And this has got it as well. Yeah, but it's, it's really good. Can't fault that. Scoring system, that's a four.